Hoot, 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 hot, hoot, hoot. That's Hey Mike in Owl Speak. We got a beer called Roost, and it's got a bunch of owls on it. So I thought I would learn how to speak owl for this video. So this is an extra pale ale, uh, courtesy of Hop Butcher for the World. Thank you for sending this. This is a Centennial Hopped Extra Pale at 6%. Now, it was canned in November, but it's a pale ale. It'll last. And we've just been, this is all, we were only sent one, and we wanted to make sure we would do this together. And uh, it just took a while. Life. Don't have proper glassware today. Didn't want to go back upstairs. By proper, he means clean. Yeah, that too. We don't, we don't we don't have like hot butcher glassware or proper like clean glassware either. Even though I just clean this stuff, but we know what happens when I clean a beer glass, right? Yeah, it means it doesn't get cleaned. Correct, correct, correct. Thanks, dude. Day another. No, you should have said hoot hoot. <laughs> <laughs> so it is honestly, it looks like a Stella. It does. It does. <laughs> it looks like a Stella. Yeah. You had a Stella recently? Is that why you're? Don't judge me. Did you really? No, I, I've, I've I've had one in the last few months at least. Uh, yeah, it looks like Stella. It's just almost just golden. Got a nice uh, white head. Mine's dissipated because I haven't poured that well. Plus, it's dirty glass. Well, I got I, I, pff, my glass isn't dirty because I got two fingers right now almost. Yeah, I bet you do. So, <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks like a pale ale. Good enough. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's nice. Yeah. A super crisp. Piney. Piney. A little bit of resin dankness. Yep. Um, got a nice amount of fruit, though. Like, um, yeah. you got citrus and melon. Yeah, that's a good pull. I, I, I didn't get, like, the citrus right at the front, but when she said that. But it's almost like cantaloupe, too. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of melon. Wow, that smells really good. Yeah, I got, uh, just a, like, a spritz, a small spritz of, like, grapefruit. Yeah, it kind of smells like a grapefruit. That's, that's I think, the big one. It kind of smells like a Sierra Pale. Yeah. <laughs> not as, not as piney and resiny, though. Yeah. But. Do it. Cheers. Do it. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Wow, that was way more bitter than I expected. Yeah. That's really nice. It's, yeah, it is. Wow, that's really good. I like that bite. Yeah. It, it, and it's much more like Sierra Pale now. Yeah, yeah. It, it lets you know you're drinking a beer. It's like right up there. It's like, bam. And it's like my mouth is just, it's like this like bittering hops are going on the side of my palate. Wow. Yeah, but it, it, yeah, it's, it's piney, uh, danky. Mm -hmm. um, it's still citrus, um, like um, a grapefruit, like grapefruity. Um, the melon is awful, is not quite there as much, but it does have a weird, uh, not weird, that's wrong. Um, it does have a, um, an interesting little bit of a hit of like caramel almost. At least I'm getting that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think that was it. There was something, I, I, while you were talking, I was trying to pick out like at the back of my palate, that was a little bit of like a sweetness. Mm -hmm. I think the caramel, that makes sense. But it's like lemon, grapefruit zestiness kind of just. Yep. Yeah, it, actually lemon's a good one. It, it's, it's it's like the the non sweet um, yeah. citrus fruits. They're much more like the uh, that that pithier, um, stronger like yeah. uh, lemons. A good one, yeah. It, it beautiful, delicious, very crisp. All centennial. Like I haven't had an all centennial beer in a beer. I haven't had a centennial beer. Yeah. Okay, I just turned it. Carrie, is that you? I just noticed something too. What's that? This is a collaboration with Half Acre. <laughs> I tried not looking at at at, at the back because I don't want to see the tasting notes. But yeah, that's cool. So so yeah, Half Acre for those that don't know, just well not just it's been a while now. They sold their their spot in Chicago to Hop Butcher. You know, Hop Butcher has a tap room. We didn't mention that in another review, but that's actually really cool. And it was around in November, so that makes sense because I remember there was another collab right around that time that they did mm. that too. Um, but now that it's and now I looked at the back, dark dank citrus. Yep, mm -hmm. pleasant pine. Yep. Mm -hmm. And pink grapefruit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I, I, pink, pink grapefruit is probably like the like the better because it's a little more, it's a little more sweeter. It's a little okay. sweeter. But yeah, I can see that. Interesting. I'm just I'm more familiar with the, like the ruby red. You know, isn't ruby red and pink the same one? No idea. No, no, no. I never liked grapefruit as a kid. I don't like. I, I don't mind it in like my beer, but ju grapefruit juice, take or leave it. Yeah, I, I, I like it in beer, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, anyways, down in the comments, you've had. Hoot, 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 which is roost and owl. Um, the extra pale ale, 
with only Centennial coming in at 6%, made by Hop Butcher for the World and Half Acre, both out of Chicago. Uh, what do you think of it? What do you think of both of those breweries in general? Down in the comments, have a conversation. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to go over to nerdsense.net. From there, you can get to all of our social media spots, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if we post. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is Nerd Sense. Sense.